Hey everybody, I'm um, just, I'm driving right now. So instead of texting and driving, I'm doing the right thing. Got my video out. I just wanted to, to quickly talk about this whole thing with, with kids are being more disrespectful these days and they need to learn how to respect adults and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, for certain cases that may be true. Um, but I remember specifically you know, my parents, my aunts and my uncles, you know, sitting around the table saying the same thing about my generation, <laughs> that our music is terrible and we don't, you know, we don't listen. We stubborn. Back in the day, we used to listen. No kid is perfect. And I don't know what generation that, who made that up came from. Maybe they was all angels or something like that, but I, I, I just don't understand. But to talk about that in this day and age is really bothersome when we have there's so many things that kids are dealing with right now at school that adults are not stepping up to the plate to fix right you have you know kids being called horrible names and racial slurs at school you've got you know, kids being shot at and slaughtered in, in schools that adults seem to not be able to organize to fix that problem, to fix gun violence against students. Children should not be going to school worrying about getting shot. But, you know, we worrying about kids saying yes ma'am and no ma'am. You gotta earn respect. I'm sorry. You know, I have four kids and I still treat my children with with respect because i want them to learn to respect adults and to respect me by the way i treat my children right you just don't blatant this oh they need to respect me but then on the same token you'll call your kid a dumbass or you call your kid stupid i mean you know we've all heard it we've all been on the train we've all been in the on the at the bus stop we've all walk the street and in the in the grocery store you know and people say horrible things to their own children and then wonder why the kids clap back and say some dumb stuff in public now you embarrassed now you want to say your kid is disrespectful no you got to earn respect and that's for real. That's real talk. You earn respect by treating your children with respect and love and kindness. And that's how they will end up treating everybody else. So if you find a child that is outright ugly and just straight up rude and disrespectful, just out of pocket, guess what, honey? There is a bigger person behind them that they have learned it from. That, that has shown them that that is the way that you live and that you treat people. We have to do better as adults. To give an example, I mean, we got a president right now that is a straight POS. I mean, I'm talking about the president, so I'm not going to use no, you know, derogatory words. He still is president. But what I'm saying is we are allowing some straight up garbage right now. And they're watching us saying it's okay it's okay right what are we gonna do we're gonna make the kids be more respectful while we allowing this buffoon to be disrespectful and horrible to everyone in the world actually not just us as citizens everyone so just you know Real talk, I mean, we just have, we just gotta be better people. We, you want, we want our children to be a certain way. We have to behave a certain way. That's it. The kids have enough, they have so much to deal with. So much to deal with. Just you, teachers and the police officers and all of these these things at them. They can't even go to school without worrying about harassment and and rape and sexual assault. But I mean, come on. 
we have to be advocates for our kids. They have to see us stepping up, showing them respect that the things that they go through are important. They need to see us step up and then they will do better. They're only a reflection of us.